Hey what's up guys Corey here and in this video today I'm just going to be showing you how you can install ROMs on your rooted Android phone the easiest method I've come across so far so I'm just going to show you that my phone is running um, Cyan Engine Mod 10.1 with Franco's kernel as well so if I go to about phone you can see version of Android is 4.2.2 and as I scroll down, it says that I'm also using, just focus, I'm also using Franco's kernel and Cyanogen mod version 10.1 nightly. So I'm basically going to show you the easiest method of um, installing ROMs on your rooted Android device. Again, I only rooted my Nexus 4 a few days ago, and this is the easiest method I've found um, to install ROMs. So what you need to do is go into your app store and download Goo Manager. Goo Manager basically allows you to install ROMs and also allows you to flash kernels as you may see in my previous video. So all you need to do is go into Goo Manager. Um, it's going to ask for super user um, access so you just click grant. Um, then what you should do is go into browse compatible ROMs. You can go into browse all files and then you can see loads of ROMs but if you want the ones that's compatible with your Android phone I recommend going into that one. So once you go in there it should bring up a list, a list of ROMs that's compatible with your Android phone. So as you can see there there's loads of ROMs that's compatible with my Nexus 4. At the moment as I said I am using Cyanogen mod and I will um, try out pairing with Android in a few weeks or so. Um, so all you need to do now is choose the ROM that you want. So for example, say if I want to sign in Gen mod, I just click on it. Click on it again, nightly, and then it will give you the list of nightly versions. So you click on 10.1, the first one that's at, at the top, click on that, and then you just click on begin download, and it will take you to this page where it should say download will start in 10 seconds or how many seconds as you guys can see this counting down and then it will start downloading so if I scroll here now uh, if I scroll up here you can see at the top that it's actually downloaded but I'm going to stop that because I'm already running um, sign engine mod so what after you've done that all you need to do is da, 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 da. you go back and then you go to flash roms oh yeah and I also recommend downloading G apps as well so to download G apps you can just go to search and type in G apps G apps or you can go to browse compatible ROMs and it should be in there as well. G apps is your standard Google apps. I'll, I'll recommend downloading that as well and to flash that as well when you're flashing um, Cyan Engine Mod. So what you need to do now is go onto flash ROMs, click on the ROM that you'd like to flash. So Cyan Engine Mod and G apps and you go to order and f sorry you go to let's do that again. So sign engine mod and G apps and go to order and flash selected and then you need to flash your G apps first or it doesn't really matter you can flash your sign engine mod first or G apps it doesn't matter you then click on wipe and create backup and then flash that's that's basically it once you click flash sign engine mod should install within five to ten minutes maximum with your G apps all installed and ready for you to go. So that's basically it guys, the easiest method to flash ROMs onto your rooted Android device. Um, if you guys do enjoy videos like this again, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below to let me know um, that you'd like to see more videos like this. Anyway guys, look forward to the review of Cyanogen Mod 10.1 running on my Nexus 4. My name is Cause. peace.